Hello y'all. Welcome to daily vlog number three or four. Um, today for the vlog, we're gonna do everything that we don't want to fucking do today. As a little challenge because for the past few weeks I've been feeling real good. And I'm feeling horrible today. So. Also, if you're new here, um... Welcome to Tism Pump YouTube, y'all, where I discuss my experiences with mental health, autism, addiction recovery, and becoming a baby bodybuilder. And I am doing daily vlogs in the hopes of buying a house for my mom and I. And that is the goal. Welcome. I'ma keep winning, winning. I'ma keep winning, winning. I'ma keep winning, winning. Say hello to the animales. I woke up and I was feeling shit. I recorded my podcast episode and I was like, this is fucking gold. I thought that it was really good. And then my mom didn't super like it and I value her opinion highly. So it kind of bummed me out. And then that combined with the comments from the fucking lovely people of Instagram today we're just, it was just getting to me, bitch. So I did what I felt like I had to do, which was do a little reset. And sometimes for me, if I can't get out of my head, I reset by sleeping. I also like never do these types of videos, but I recorded a video with like intent this morning for Instagram. My friend Matt Bedard at the gym made a video like this where it was like, oh, when she doesn't spit pre-workout in your mouth and he was in the shower and I thought it was hilarious. So I filmed that, but I wanted to put like mascara on my eyes. So as you can see, I have like remnants of makeup on my face and it, my eyes hurt like a motherfucker. So anyway, here's the plan, bitch. We did some laundry this morning. It's right there. We're about to put it away. I am putting on a Pache Orchestra live in concert. Right now, we are going to put away the laundry, drink coffee, which I don't want to do, but I have to get moving. Um, I want to read. Need to edit some more shit. I want to do a little baby clean. Because these men were like, let's piss on her fucking couch this morning, bitch. Yeah. A mini clean. I want to do my eyelashes despite the fact that my eyes are burning. I want to do a baby bit of makeup for the gym. Just like some contour and blush. And then we're going to go to the gym. It's rainy today. We're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna do full body, and we're going to try to have a really good day at the gym. And that's what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna film some deadlifts for y'all. That's what the fuck it is, bitch. Anyway, I'm gonna turn you off, because I'm gonna blast some fucking music, and I don't wanna get copyright flagged. Um, but I'm gonna do the laundry, do my lashes, and just do a bunch of shit that I don't feel like doing, because I'm kind of fucking not feeling good today.
Oh my god, dude, I'm having like major executive dysfunction and I'm just exhausted. I cleaned the fuck out of this vicinity and um, it didn't take very long, but I'm just gassed. I'm excited to go to the gym because today the compound that we're starting with is deads. Well, we're doing RDLs, but barbell RDLs. So the place is clean, which is lit, and I'm gonna mop it right before I leave, which is very soon. I just ate my pre-workout meal. No one gives a shit. Anyway, I'm gonna make my pre, and bring you guys to the gym with me. There's a baby, a boy. Hello. He's been fucking shit up this man. It's winter, they get cold. They're not fucking, they're just being nasty, dude. Like, sometimes they refuse to fucking poop outside. Yeah. And then I work hard to keep this space very clean and you take shits under my bed. Only in the winter though. Like when they were will unwilling to fucking walk outside, which like fair. And I bought them shoes and they just won't wear their shoes and i'm like well i spent like 80 dollars last year on shoes for them and they were like no we're gonna just not use these and that and 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 like i was not spending money on anything and i literally bought shoes for them and they were like mm, fuck you no bitch i was like mm, okay slay you fuck you know i think like a kissy Thank you. I think also a big part of it is I'm feeling very like today and not very hot. And I, yeah, I'm just like so tired. I'm so exhausted. I've been on like a high for the past week, just like feeling really good. And then this morning, and then just this, this, and then this morning I just wasn't feeling good and I've been feeling like shit all day. But we got everything done. We wanted to get done. I did a bunch of loads of laundry. I put it away. Which reminds me, I have to transfer my last one over. I wrote in my gratitude journal. I wrote my to-do list. I took the dogs out. I listened to the podcast. I edited videos. I gotta brush my teeth, make pre. Um, clean the fuck out of this place. Clean the bathroom. The bathroom was stressing me out. It's funny because like I always keep this place super clean, but if I want to like deep clean it, it takes me like an hour. If I want to do like a fast clean, it takes me like fifteen minutes. Um, I need still need to do the cupboards, but I have no energy. I literally just, my goal today is to just get to the gym. And Instagram is limiting my activity right now because they just love that I'm so popular and post like a million times a day. So they're limiting my activity. So I can't even fucking post anything. We're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna mop quickly before I leave. So when I get home, it's all super nice and clean. That way I can edit for a few hours make dinner and then just like pass the fuck out because tomorrow is a rest day as fuck but also i'm meeting up with maddie which will be in the vlog tomorrow if you're seeing this the day it's posted it'll be the next day um because we are going for a hike and then we're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're gonna do some we're gonna go to her little appointment that's what the fuck is going on bitch i'm gonna put on this clothing and hopefully i don't feel like a fat fuck but it's funny Cause I used to walk around my gym like when I was like peak fucking, peak fucking cut. And I would like hold my stomach in and now I'm just like a child. Like you know how children walk around and they're just like not aware of the fact that they're like walking with their stomachs out. It's like that. Cause I just don't care anymore. And I'm glad because honestly it takes a lot of energy to like try to suck it in all the time, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna make my pre. It's 3.34 so we gotta get the fuck out of here bitch and i well i don't really i don't smell really i'm just sweating anyway i gotta put on clothes and then we're gonna go maybe we'll cook dinner together i don't know but the whole day is just doing stuff we don't want to do and prevailing over our mental illnesses because you need to recognize when you have to push through and like while no i'm not lazy and like yes i'm in pain 
Some days you just gotta fucking prove to yourself that you can do it because the anxiety of not doing the shit that you don't wanna do is just gonna be so much worse. And once you do the tiny little things that you need to do, it just proves to yourself that you can do hard shit. And like, I say hard shit and people are like, it's not hard to brush your teeth. It's not hard to fucking make your bed. Well, bitch, it was for me for my whole fucking life because I'm very mentally ill and I'm fucking autistic. So yeah, it's hard. Anyway, um, it's also been a long day dealing with people who are just invalidating me constantly online. And usually it doesn't affect me too much, but on the days where I'm mentally, I'm very low. It's just not cute. So we're gonna get dressed. Anyway, we are basically ready for the gym. I just have to mop. I'm having a hard time. I feel really like anxious right now. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm just like, I have hang, I have like really high anxiety and the sensory issues right now don't feel good. I don't like the feeling of clothing on my body, of socks on my feet, just things on the back of my neck and I'm really frustrated and I'm like trying to calm down. I feel like I'm gonna cry, but it's okay. I'm gonna try to just like listen to some hype music in the car and hopefully that will like make me feel better, but everything just feels just really upsetting right now. It's just frustrating. I'm just like tired of living this life, um, but that's okay. Cause honestly, the thing is, is like, I'm just trying to be positive, but it's hard um, sometimes when I feel like this, cause it's just annoying, it's frustrating. Like I shouldn't feel like I wanna rub my clothing off constantly, but that's how I feel. So I'm just gonna do my best today and just try to be okay and hopefully um the lift is good today because i need a good lift i just need a good fucking lift it's really hard to have a good lift though when my when i'm having sensory issues that are like really heightened because sometimes it's fine like sometimes it's not that deep and like sometimes it's not a big deal but sometimes it's a really big deal like I had like a full fucking shutdown, meltdown, I don't know what I would classify it as, as. When I went to pick up Maddie for the gym a few weeks ago, I called my mom and I was just crying and I was just like, it's not fair. Like, why do I want to die because I don't like the feeling of these pants on my body? Like, it's just like, it's just hard. Anyway, we will prevail. All right, y'all, we are in the fucking car, bitch. We made it to the car, which is a big deal. And I just want my floors, which is a big deal. And um, it's gonna be okay. I predict that this is gonna be a really challenging, but I will follow my plan and do what I have to do. And this morning I wanted a little extra with my standard breakfast. So I made sure to, like I, I figured out my all my meals for the day um, and like tracked them. So now when I go home, all I have to do is just like, follow the plan a revolutionary idea and um the place is super clean so like when i get home i'm probably gonna be like really overstimulated and really upset but it's gonna feel safe because everything is okay and everything is clean so that's one positive i just wish that like i could be normal um and clothing didn't upset me but it's okay it's gonna be okay and i'm gonna try really fucking hard to have a good workout today because I deserve to move my body and feel good and I'm gonna push through but I can tell it's gonna be um it's gonna be a rough one it's gonna be a rough one babe but it's okay because I got my favorite pre um and things are okay like I it, you know yesterday was funny I was talking to one of my gym bros Matt and I was like you know I'm worried because I've been really good for the past week it's kind of like a white wire and I'm like, cause there's only nowhere to go but down. But we're not super down. The thing is, is it can happen at any time. That's BPD for you, baby girl. Um, but I've just been so good. It had to, I had to, you know, level out and that's okay. I'm just really hoping that I don't have like tick attacks and stuff. Cause usually when I'm overstimulated like this and then I'm at the gym and everything, it just doesn't go well. So I'm going to go there. I'm not wearing a bra because when do I ever wear a bra? I'm going to go there. I'm going to put my... The plan is I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to put my fucking bra on. Go find a rack, set up, and just headphones so that I block everything out. And I'm going to try to listen to some good music right now to just like get me going, get me excited. So I'm like 
feeling a little better. My back is in a lot of pain, but we're going to do it. And we're going to deadlift and it's going to be okay. I can feel the ticks coming. The way like I shifted my head just there. Fuck. Mm, okay. The problem is, is when you think about it and when you try not to do it, that's when it happens, girl. Oh, it's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to pull through. We're going to do this. It's going to be good. I can do this. I can do hard things. I am amazing. I am talented. I am smart. I am funny. I am strong. I'm a bad bitch. I can do difficult things and I will go to the gym and I will work out and I will train and I will move my body and then I will come home and I'll make myself a good meal because I deserve to eat good things and fuel my body and everything's okay. I'm okay. I am safe. I will be able to pay my rent, hopefully, and everything is gonna be fine. I'm gonna be okay. Some days I have good days, some days I have bad days, and that's okay. That's the human experience. You're safe, you're gonna be okay. Just put some music on, dance, stim, and just do the best you can do. And that's the plan. That is the plan. <sighs> Let's do this shit. I'll see you at the gym, bitch. We're at the gym, bitch. Anxiety is high. But I walked in and Lexi was in the bathroom, or Maddie was in the bathroom, so it was kind of like, okay. We're gonna do some, uh, like, 10 minute mobility, and then we're gonna do some fucking RDLs. And I don't know why, but it feels really weird filming right now, because there are three guys that are sitting on a bench facing me right now, but I'm just like, okay. Well, this is the vibe, so fuck it, we ball, I guess. It's so fucking awkward, bitch, the fuck. I don't know, I'm here doing things, whatever. I'm allowed to exist in this space. I just hate this on a deep level today. It's because my gym crush is right there. Fuck me in the asshole. I fucking hate mobility with a deep passion. But apparently it's going through the lifts, so we gotta fucking do it, bitch, and not be such a cunt. It hurts. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Huh? Pain? Yeah. I have to go sideways when walking through doors as well. Oh. No. It's so cute. And this water double fist. Can we count seven blades for future? A man just deadlifted. I can't even do the fucking weight on it. Eight plates, 25s. I'll do the math later. Just not even. <laughs> fucking wild. Charles was just behind here. I was like, I am gonna put my asshole on your face. You might want to move. Look at this gym are so strong. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, 176 is fine for RDLs. I think it's going to be okay. I'm pregnant. Slay. Bitch, my fucking RSG is not cute today. Rejection sensitivity dysphoria, babes. I'm very anxious and just feeling like I want to fucking cry and kill myself. But when do I not? So... That's all I see is a... Oh, that's heavier than anticipated for RDLs, babe. Woo! Now you can let that don't be a bitch. This man can RDL four plates, second fucking RDL, fucking once in the eight. It's 
hard though, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking cunt. <laughs> It's giving pussy bitch. I'm so high anxiety right now, dude. We're just like, I feel like everybody fucking hates you and no good friends. I'm just like, at capacity. Lexi just texted me and she was like, I think someone just shit their pants. I wonder who. It wasn't me this time. I just got your text. <laughs> I said I just got your text. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't me. Not this time, girl. Yeah, like shit. That's the name of the game, babe. I'll start off with one plate because it's baby weight at the beginning. I think my body's getting used to it. I'm not bruising anymore. I'm fucking hot, bitch. It's hard when you're at a gym where, like, it's like professional, like, bodybuilders and powerlifters everywhere. Because I am, like, the fattest and least muscular person here. Which is like, I know it's fine, it's just sometimes it gets to you, but the whole reason why I joined this gym was because I wanted to learn from other people and become better. It's just one of those days, you know? Just really not feeling good, but that's okay. It's interesting because like through, I guess, like a healing journey, I don't know, um, I learned that I need to, to because I was anxious I'd, within almost all of my relationships and I realized that I needed to um, start learning how to self-regulate. So now, when there's something wrong with me, like I don't share it with my friends. And I don't feel very connected to anybody really in my life other than my mom um, and my one friend, like Petros. But other than that, like, I don't know. I just feel really lonely. And it has nothing to do with like a partner. I'm talking about like, all my platonic relationships, like, yeah. We showed up today and we're going through our program and we're getting everything done and that's all that matters. And you're not gonna feel like doing that shit every day, but we're doing it anyway. And that's a fucking win, bitch, so let's do two plates. I have three plates loaded on here, um, which I've never done before, so it would be a PR for real. Anyway, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna try for six. You can do this. It's heavy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know if I can unrack it, if I'm being completely honest. Let's not be a fucking pussy. Oh, fuck, that's fucking heavy. I'm strong as fuck. One more is eight. That's light, bitch. I feel better now. Slay, I'm strong. My mom commented on this video and she was like, the gains are there, she doesn't have to tape the entire workout. Maybe you'd like to say something positive for a change or are you just that unhappy? Shout out to you, mom. I'm putting this in the YouTube, but this is for you, Miss Girl. I love the shit out of you. It's just like in moments where I feel lonely, I have to remember that like the only consistent person in my life forever is me. So I am in the midst of building a good relationship with myself and usually I'm not very lonely. That's just... The RSD gets me, babe. Like, it gets me hardcore. And when I feel rejection, it hurts my whole fucking body and I feel very sad. So, anyway, we're gonna just do some fucking T-bar rows, chest supported, and then we're going to spam some fucking 
the lateral raises on the cable and then uh, spam some fucking cable bicep curls as well. And then we're gonna do 10 minutes walking backwards on an incline on the treadmill. And then we're gonna go home and find God. I don't know, bitch. Hopefully I find God. I don't think I will if I'm being completely for real. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to find God. I got me, bitch. I wish I could, you know, I've talked about this with friends before where I'm like, I wish I could be religious and blindly believe in something. Um, but I can't. And I wish I could so that I could, I don't know, be happier. Because it seems like everybody who preaches Catholicism is fucking happy. They're like, they're like God's got me, bitch. And I'm like, mm, I wish God had me. Shit myself, yeah. Tits for you, bitch. I think Charles just hit a PR. It was insane. The whole gym was cheering. I'm feeling a bit better now. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> YouTube done. 